What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Narwhal S10 Pro. This is a two-in-one wet and dry vacuum that also has a built-in mop to clean your floors as well. Taking a look at some of the specs, this has a powerful suction power of 14,000 PA, a built-in mop with clean and dirty water tanks, self-washing and drying, smart automatic features, the ability to recline up to 180 degrees, and is very lightweight at only nine pounds. All right, so taking a look at the vacuum itself, this is definitely a nice and modern looking vacuum. I love the white and silver theme. And as you can see here, it also has a built-in color screen, which gives it a futuristic look. Overall, it kind of reminds me of the robot Eva from the movie WALL-E. Looking at the vacuum, one thing I like about this is the clean water tank is completely hidden. When I first started using it, I couldn't figure out where it was or how to refill the water. But it turns out the tank is right back here inside the bottom of the base. So once it's in there, it's pretty much invisible and you can't even tell it's there. Turning the vacuum around, this is where you have your dustbin and dirty water tank. As you can see here, there is a separation in the middle. So as you're vacuuming and mopping, it'll suck up all the stuff. Everything solid will get stuck here on top and then it'll drip all the water at the bottom. This way, when it's time to clean it out, it makes it a whole lot easier. There's some of these vacuum and mop combos that just shove everything in one tank. So it's definitely a lot better to have it this way. Also included with the vacuum is this base station and this cleans, dries, and charges the vacuum. All right, so I ran a few tests to see how the vacuum performs. A lot of these vacuum and mop combos struggle when it comes to suction power, but this one definitely worked a lot better than I expected. As you can see, it quickly and easily vacuumed everything up. I have kids, so one thing that's very common in my house is spilled cereal. Normally, this would be a two-part job. You would need to sweep, then mop. But with this, you can do it all at once, which in the end is going to save you a lot of time and effort. And once again, as you can see, it cleaned this up very easily as well. I even tested the vacuum with something a little more difficult. And surprisingly, even though some of the sauce was dried up, it still cleaned up everything very easily. All right, so using the vacuum, I want to say this is definitely very easy to use. Similar to a lawnmower, this has built-in forward propulsion. So moving this around really takes no effort at all. You can even grab it with one finger and still move it around very easily. As you can see, the bottom does swivel, which makes it very easy to maneuver. And it even lays completely flat, allowing you to clean under furniture as well. Another feature I really like on this is the ability to clean all the way to the edge of the wall. I had another vacuum like this that didn't clean edges well, so I ended up still having to use a regular mop, which in the end kind of defeats the purpose. But as you can see, this one does not have that issue and cleans edges very well. Looking at the specs, the mop has a constant 17 newtons of pressure, which makes it one of the best on the market when it comes to scrubbing power. Compared to a regular mop, this also makes cleaning a lot easier as you don't have to be hunched over and scrubbing the ground. You can simply relax and let the vacuum do all the work for you. This does have a self-cleaning mop, so unlike a regular mop, you're not spreading around dirty water. Instead, this continuously cleans the mop head and applies fresh and clean water as you move. As I said earlier, this does have auto mode, which is not something I've seen on any other vacuum. On this mode, it'll detect the amount of dirt and mess it's cleaning, and based on that, it'll automatically adjust the suction power and water usage for you. Definitely a cool option to have as you can just leave it on auto, clean the house and not have to worry about adjusting any settings. After you're done cleaning, the last thing anyone wants to do is worry about cleaning the mop as well. But with this, you don't have to worry about that as it does have a self-cleaning feature. Here's an image of before and after cleaning cycle. And as you can see, it does get everything nice and clean. Beyond that, it also dries the mop to eliminate any odors as well. Again, definitely much easier than a regular mop. Last but not least, this has 50 minutes of battery life. It's unlikely anyone is gonna be mopping for 50 minutes straight. So this is definitely more than enough battery. Keep in mind the vacuum is stored on the charging base. So charging is not something you ever have to worry about. Just put it on the base and the next time you need to clean, it'll be topped off and ready to go. Overall, this is definitely the best mopping vacuum in this price range. It's packed with features and performed a lot better than I expected. So all in all, if you happen to be shopping for a mop and vacuum combo, I would highly recommend this one here, which again is the Narwhal S10 Pro. 
If you would like more information on this vacuum, you can search Narwhal Vacuum Mop on Google, and then I also have an Amazon link in the description as well. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.